What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ian Katanak, a.k.a. the Renegade Writer from ConsciousWritersTribe.com, shouting out all my conscious writers out there who are trying to make a difference with your art in the world. Not just in your own life, but a difference in the world. Today, I would like to talk about that creativity is a choice. And that may seem obvious because all of us are self-anointed artists or authors. That's the easiest thing you can do and self-anoint yourself as an author. And people now are even struggling with that. People now have problems with calling themselves art an author or an artist. Everyone, that's the easy part. The hard part is making an impact on a on the global level with your art. We're talking a global level, not a, in your genre, not in your nation. We're talking a global difference because you can make a difference. You can end democide. Democide is the killing of innocent people by government. 250 million people died in the 20th century by democide. But we think we st continue need to continue in the government model. And maybe we do. But your art can help influence that. Your art can help influence the environmental problem. The drug, you know, drug problem in the world. There's violence. I mean, there's so much going on that your art can heal. And it can't and you don't need to be limited to, to one of those areas. Because once one of those dominoes falls, all of them fall. As an artist, you can transcend and help everyone in there. And but that starts with the choice. It starts with the creative impulse. As our boy at Otto Rank would say, one of the heroes at Conscious Writers Tribe. If you guys don't know who Otto Rank is, he was the secretary to Sigmund Freud, and much like his colleagues Carl Jung, Wilhelm Reich, and all the other good psychoanalysts, he s split from Freud, and a lot of his post-Freudian post work was on the artist and the creative impulse. And Rank said that art comes from trauma and making that trauma flow. And we have a sense of relief through art, and that's why we engage in art. You may or may not agree with that, but he was one of the first to get into this. It's about the flow, but it's about the will. And that's what he would say is that if people d don't, don't have the will, the impulse, the intention, the intentionality to, to move at some level, and he thought on an artistic level, Reich thought it was on a sexual or body level, or an energetic level. Jung thought it was on the level of the collective unconscious. If you don't move and heal in those areas, then you will stagnate. And it starts with the first choice. And before you even begin, or if you've already begun, I'd like you to bring you back down to the foundation. Let's go back down to that foundation where you first started. And that raw impulse, that beautiful energy. That needs to can be combined with a global attitude, an attitude that can send waves over the community. How are you going to do that? That's up to you and your relationship with the ether and the relationship with your own mind and what you're putting inside your head, which we will talk about later at a later time. And if you guys are still watching this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, everybody. I'm out here trying to make a difference. I'm posting daily motivational videos for you to get you pumped up to do this. The least you can do is hit subscribe for me. I am always here for you to talk to you, to read something of yours. If I am one day the largest book reviewer, I will still be here for every single person. Guaranteed. I will segment time out every single day. But the first thing that you can do, on, once you have the axiomatic base set, no matter where you're at right now, is to prioritize action over feeling. As empathetic artists, we love feeling. We love to stroke our hair and feel good and relish in those moments of pure creativity and creating the perfect environment. But if we're going to get to the end point, we are going to need a deliberate force, an un, a massive amount of energy because we don't. you just don't need to be a great artist. You need to be a great person, a great example for others because we all know the artists and the writers who have a very apparent lack, like very apparent um, Id idiosyncrasies, like they are very socially awkward or they have very weird political affiliations. Like 
like we've seen in the last you know four years with B Trump and Biden, the Hegelian dialectic, the mother and the father figure, the you know two sides of the same coin, that people are taking sides and going crazy over this. But it uh, what is obviously a waste of energy. But what I'm trying to say about that is that that real artist can transcend all that, that they can move past a lot of that, that their political philosophy is going to be a lot deeper than two parties or the democratic system. They're going to do stuff on a political level that can surpass all of that, that can transcend all of that on an artistic and on a boots on the ground level. That's happened before. Artists have done cause revolutions relative to their society. And so can you. If you if we scale you to them, you can make that same difference in the world that they did, if not bigger, because of the connection we have now. You can hit every single continent right now. Literally, people on Antarctica right now could could watch your video or read your book, and it could change how they treat the land or the, what's happening in Antarctica, and that's freaking crazy. So why are you waiting? Why are you waiting to get started? What's holding you back? A lot of it is that we like to rest in our trauma, that it's hard, that you're going to have to go through every single thing that's traumatized you. It's a lot easier to stay stuck. It's a lot easier to stay stagnant. But we need you. I don't know if you're the one. I don't know if I'm the one. But one of us, if we keep trying in massive numbers, is going to be the one that's going to do it, that's going to go all the way. And we're going to be behind that person applauding. When, when I say they're going to be the one that does it, they're going to be one, the one that creates singularity in the world. They're going to be the one that ends violence. They're going to be the one that makes everyone pursue self-education. That person exists. And if it's not you, then you need to lay the goddamn groundwork for the next person. This isn't a, this isn't a game anymore. Go outside. Go to a modern city. Go to a third world country and tell me that this is a game. Your nine to five job is a fucking game. Your relation, relationships with dumb friends, those are a game. But what you are doing right now with your art, could you have no idea what it could do. And I would love to watch that grow inside of you and read it and experience it and give you 100% support. So I'm getting emotional over here. I've never cried in a video, but this I'm getting too close right now. This is Ian Katanak. Subscribe, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow for your daily writer's block. You're, I'm the writing block killer, everybody. I'm here to kill it. So if you got it, I'm here every single day for you. Peace.